Ooh, it's bright. Okay. Happy Friday, everybody. Today we are talking about all things Prime Mobile app. I'm Andrea Mueller. I work in a recruiting and advertising space, and this is... And I'm Brianne Madura. I work in our IT department on our Prime Mobile app. So if you are tuning in and you have questions about the Prime Mobile app, go ahead and ask those as we um, share the new features that are in the app. We are constantly updating it. Well, I'm not. The IT department's <laughs> constantly... I don't know anything about IT. Um, they're constantly updating it based on driver feedback. So Brian's gonna tell you about some of the new features and show you some examples. So I'm gonna turn this around. So pardon us, cause we've kind of worked through some uh, logistics here, but uh, one thing that we realized that we didn't have a whole lot of was some specific things that our, our flatbedders had asked for. So um, on the My Truck page, um, over on My Trailer, uh, a lovely gentleman called me and told me that we didn't have the type of trailer it was and how important that was to them on the on the flatbed side. So we did add that type. So if it's a step deck, it'll tell you there and it'll also tell you the length. So depending on if it's a 48 or a 53 foot, um, all those different variations. So that way you can see those in that My Trailer section where you can see all your other stuff. So uh, just a little helpful and uh, something just really there for the flatbed side because that's what they asked for. So little thing for them. Somebody has a question. When is the load board coming out? Um, well, it, it's, it's available right now. It's still in testing. Um, it's not for everyone yet because there's still a lot of development work going on to there and some, some you're, options getting the optimized load. So you're referring to the load choice program for current independent contractors under Prime's authority, right? I am. Yeah. If they're, if they have their own authority, are we getting a load board for like owner operators that haul logistics? Um, we are working on a piece on that for our, uh, brokerage side. Um, and then we will, once we're kind of moving on there, we'll be able to roll some of those pieces out to some of our other areas. So yes, we are working on that part. Cool. All right, what else you got? So um, also we just recently added a section. So in your, in your app, if you go to the Prime Portal, you'll see My Info. So My Info is our newest section that we rolled out based on some feedback from our uh, Driver Advisory Board and from our Payroll Department. Um, so right now, if you check out uh, my info, you'll see a review section and it'll let you know your current payroll by email status. So if you're getting your settlements by email, you'll be able to turn those on or off. You can also pick the type, but most importantly, if you don't want those printed copies, you can turn those off. So if you're getting a whole bunch of mail to a mailbox, you're not checking or things like that, or you just don't really need that paper copy anymore, you can turn those right off and our payroll department would gladly appreciate you. Um, but so if you don't want those paper copies, turn them off. If you still want them, feel free to leave them on or turn them on. But uh, that is your choice and you can kind of see it right in there. Um, then you can also scroll down a little bit. I'm going to switch to some screenshots here that I took earlier so you don't have to see somebody's personal info. Um, but if you scroll down, you'll be able to see your personal information. So you can't change your name, but you can change your phone number, who your emergency contact is, their phone number. Uh, scroll on down, you'll be able to see some addresses. So if you're uh, an owner operator, an independent contractor, you can see your business address. Um, if you're on the company side, you'll be able to see your address. If you've gone between the two this year, um, you'll see multiple addresses. If you have, if you've changed your LLC uh, from being set up under you personally, you, you'll see different addresses on there and you can change all of them. You can click in any of those fields and update them. And then you'll get the message comes back here to our payroll department and to our driver personnel and they go in there and update. So it's not an immediate change, but they do go in there and update because depending on if you change counties and uh, different states, sometimes the tax information needs to change and they might need you to fill out some forms, but that way you can at least get your address in there um, and they'll get a hold of you if they need some more information from you. Um, but if you look down at the bottom, once you change those, you'll see uh, a submit button and that'll go ahead and send all that information to us. You can do it all at once from your emergency contact all the way through all of your addresses. You can get that to us and we can get those updated. It's really important as we get closer to tax time, uh, those do have to be mailed out. So we want to make sure that we have that correct address. If you've moved, if we didn't get it right the first time, whatever it is, we want to make sure we get those updated for you so that way all the mail gets to the right place when it needs to be there. So. Um, that's one thing that's in there. You'll also kind of see in that section, there was a home time uh, tab in my info. So my info, if you put in a home time request with your fleet manager, we don't have a way for you to submit them on the app yet, but you can come in here and you can see what was entered. So you can make sure the dates are right. You can make sure the location's right, the times, things like that, make sure that those are put in. So you can verify those for yourself and kind of see what's out there. 
All right, we did have a question from a Tiny House Dreaming. She said, um, when does everyone get the choice option, the load choice program, if you're a contractor? Uh, uh, there is no defined deadline right now for when they're gonna roll it out to everybody. It's still in testing. You're more than welcome to let your fleet manager know that you're willing to participate. Um, and they, when they do have the option to add more people, that's where it will be from. There is some rules on who can and can't participate. Um, I'm not 100% sure of what they are off the top of my head but I do believe it includes taking the ACE-2 class, um, has a service piece to it, and um, something else, but I'm not really sure what it is. So I don't make those decisions, but um, there is some, some pieces that you do have to be able to qualify for that. So, but if you are interested, please just let your fleet manager know. They're the ones who'll be able to put you on the list and get you, um, when they're ready to add some more people, get you on that list. So cool. that's who. All right. Take us to the next feature. Okay. All right, if you guys are just logging in, we are talking about all things Prime Mobile app. Um, comment below with a question, and we want to know what's your favorite feature. So comment below and tell us your favorite thing in the app because that makes Brienne really happy. It so let me switch it back around, and she will continue showing you new stuff in the app. All right. So one of the newest things that we also did was we uh, took off. There's a part up here where it had the calendar, um, and so we decided to use, we used to put some news here, but now we do it all in the mobile app. So we have one place where you can get your news, but now we have this calendar. So you can come in here and kind of see some upcoming events. I got all the Christmas parties added in here yesterday. So you can kind of see uh, where they're happening. If you're in one of those locations. Uh, but you can also kind of see them down here. So any kind of upcoming events, things that you might want to plan for, uh, the night of the millionaires, the, um, what else is coming? There's a trainer instructor banquet, the, the highway diamonds. So we're going to be putting all those events in there. So people who need a little bit more time that want to make plans can get to those events and find out some more information about them. All right. We have a question from Mike. He said, is there a section under scan documents to submit paper logs to the logs department? There is not under there, but it is. Um, so under scan documents, there's an HR section and right in here, you'll see paper log. So that'll take it straight to the logs department right there. So paper log under HR. Cool. You can, you can submit it with your trips under other, or you can do paper log right here. So two different options for you. All right. Um, Tiny House Dreaming said, my favorite feature is the map feature in the load tab and how it shows truck stops, rest areas near the 01 and 90. I also enjoy that. So if you don't know what she's they're talking about, I don't know who that is. Um, on those loads, this little button right here, that actually is a map icon. You can click on it and it'll kind of take you exactly to where that stop is. You can see the satellite view or you can see, and you can kind of see what's around there, just kind of general area. You can kind of just check it out so you can see what, see where you're headed. So um, I also, I also like that one. Cool, all right, thanks um, for answering that one. Let's see. Hi ladies, is it possible to create something to show us how much money we spent on fuel so we could keep track as much as we can before the week ends? And the load choice board, I love it. Sorry, two different things. <laughs> so we don't have that right now. I mean, we do have um, the My Fuel section. So I'll look into to doing those fuel purchases in there. Not 100% not on those and kind of how they're recorded, but I'll gladly take a look at those. So um, If people have um, feedback for the app or stuff they'd like to see, how do they submit that? Um, so in the app, you can send a message to Prime Mobile Help. Um, if you'll just put your suggestions in there, we'll gladly get to all of those. And even if you think that's something that somebody else has already requested, please turn them in. Uh, the more people that ask for certain features, the higher they get on the list. So uh, if everybody wants a certain thing, then we kind of prioritize those. So if there's something you're looking for, please just let us know. We probably just haven't thought of it yet. No one else has suggested it. You might think everybody has, but they haven't. So if there's something you need that would make it easier, please just let us know. All right, what else new do you have? Uh, so other things that are not super new, but um, they're out there. Um, so we always have the classes and training section. Um, so you can see a list of all the upcoming classes, things that are going on um, kind of on a scheduled basis. You can kind of see all of those out there. Um, somebody uh, before had asked about uh, the discount section. So here in My Prime, there is the discounts, and this is gonna take you to see all the different discounts we have out there. We get asked a lot about business cards. Um, if you'd like to order business cards, this is where you can get it done. Um, the form is 100% online now, so you get to pick your fonts and colors and all kinds of stuff, so it's all kind of an electronic process. So um, if you want those, that's, that's the only way to get those now. Um, different discounts that are available just by having your Prime ID 
Um, so there's lots of different ones out here. You can kind of check those out and see all those ones that are available. Cool. All right. Um, we had a question. Sorry, they disappear really quickly. Um, can we get an up and down error b back in the messages section or an ability to swipe left or right to go to the next or previous message? It's annoying having to exit a message. I know. Um, I really, uh, I'm asking for it back. Um, we kind of switched the way our messages work a little bit to make them less platform specific and that I mean um, if there was perchance a time that there wasn't a physical Qualcomm in the truck that we would still have a messaging uh, program just kind of depending on what happens in the e-logs world if they switch to different devices if they move to some that don't have that full uh, keyboard mounted item uh, so we're trying to make it a little little more less Qualcomm specific and so some of those changes in our messaging got rid of those buttons but I am asking to get them back from our developers um, no guarantees but I am trying so if you have a tablet uh, it does work in the tablet view so um, it works a lot more like mail where you have the, the message on one side and then actually the view of that particular message um, on the big screen so I know it's not a great solution but if you do have a tablet it is more like that so sorry Okay. Um, Dominican Scarface, 360 Trucking, that's a long name, um, said, Lo love everything y'all doing with the Prime app to definitely make our job smoother. Thanks to all. So good job, IT. Um, trucking with Trucker Mike says, what about adding a find a trailer feature, like being able to ping it from the app? Um, yeah, we can look into that. I'm not, uh, sometimes we got to run some stuff by legal. Sometimes they don't like all the stuff that we uh, dream up. So I'll double check on that one. I'm not sure on that one, but I will add it to my list. <laughs> Here. When I first read that, I was totally thinking, like, on the iWatch where you can ping your phone if you lose it, and yeah. the trailer, like, beeping. <laughs> that would be great, where it, like, sets off an alarm. Much easier. I know I've looked for trucks and trailers around this yard, and it, yeah, it can be exhausting. All right. Um, Eric said, not complaining about app. By the way, absolutely love it. Just wish we could change the hours of service status in it so you don't have to re uh, boot up the Qualcomm when it goes to sleep. Just to go off duty for a few minutes. I know, we get to ask that a lot. Um, it's just not under our control. That is that is a Qualcomm uh, requirement. They require it to be from their devices. Um, so if they would let us, we would gladly do it, but they just won't allow it. Um, we get asked a lot also for the graph on the hours of service page in the app. Um, and we also can't give you that. Um, they only give us a very small amount of information that we can put out there. And so we give you everything we can and we constantly bug them for more. So um, we're fighting as hard as you are. Um, we'd really like it to happen. We're just kind of stuck on, on waiting for them to say what we can and can't do. Abraham said, I'm a TAT student. How can I check my miles on the app? Can't check your miles currently. Uh, that is something that we're actually actively working on is being able to put those miles out there. Um, I would, the reason we've kind of refrained from it is sometimes miles are counted a little differently. Um, and you know, we don't want people to think that just because there's a mileage uh, requirement is not the only thing that goes into being able to test out and being a student and different things like that. So it's, it's definitely a lot of skill based, also not just mileage. So, um, but we are looking to get the miles put in there. So hang tight, we're working on it. All right, uh, John Ogren says, Ogren, I already say it wrong, I think, but hey, John, um, he said, how about a way to track drivers who have used us as referrals? I think you've talked about that in the past, right? Yeah, it's kind of one of my pet projects. Um, it's kind of on the, it's on the secret down low of things that I get done in the side. So um, I think that would be fantastic. So I really want to see that as well, to be able to track some, some referrals and some recruits and uh, their, their progress and, and keeping in touch with those people. So that'd be yes. really cool. In the meantime, you can reach out to me. This is Andrea and I can pull all your referrals for you. All right, um, would be nice to have a header tab and messages to pull all road assist or all dispatch messages. So when you are looking for an old message, it's easy to find. I can see that. Um, we can add it to our list of things. I haven't really, no one's really asked for that before. So I will uh, definitely put it on the list. Cool. Eric said, great job on hours of service visualization. Oh, thanks Eric. And then um, is it possible to add on the progress, the miles to the one mile million miles placard is it possible to oh, add? we're actually hopefully maybe next week we're going to have a, a section that we're adding um, under my info that it's going to be progress towards uh being a million miler 
So that's going to kind of show what, how much time you have left or where you're kind of at in your achievement uh, towards getting there. So yeah, that's coming. Hopefully next week. We've been work, we actually worked on that yesterday. So. And it's not true mileage based for the million mile. It's seven years, just so he knows. It's seven accident free years. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, yeah. Just ask uh, Pam and safety. If you give her a call, she can check to see where you're at. And soon you'll be able to check yourself. So yeah, yeah. that was uh, something that we actually were working on yesterday. So pretty excited about it to be able to put that information out there. So that'd be awesome. Okay, cool. Well, what else do you have to show us? So what else? Uh, something that's fairly new is the My Fleet page. Um, we added My Fleet, so I have to do screenshots because I uh, can't give you everybody's info here. But uh, you can see if you have more than one truck running under Prime's authority. Um, or if you have somebody else driving your truck while well, maybe you're off for a little bit. So if you are the owner of that truck and you, you can come in here and see this information, you can see who's driving, you can see their hours of service, um, you can see the loads, you can see a whole bunch of information about that particular truck. Um, and then you can also now see where that truck is on a map. So you can kind of use that map icon and you can get to see exactly where they're at. Um, it is based off of the, the Qualcomm position, not the driver's position. We don't do anything with any kind of driver location. So it is just that, that Qualcomm location. Um, so it is 15-ish minutes behind, but you can go in there and check that out and kind of see where that truck is. So something that our uh, our driver advisory board had asked for. So we, we went ahead and put that in there. So, um, and then also one thing I really enjoy, uh, we get asked for a lot is drop yards. So people always ask for a list of draft yards. And so on the fuel and services map, um, you can actually use this little button down here, which is the filter button. Uh, and you can come in here and you can turn on just the drop yards. Um, and then you can see just where the drop yards are. There does give some basic information about them. Um, I'm not sure there's some, somebody asked a question earlier and I didn't know the answer to it. So I got to follow back up, but you can find those drop yards on there. They have the code on there. So you can use them in your, in your Navigo. Uh, and map of those locations. So um, they are in there uh, in this view. And if you haven't seen it yet, if you look at those fuel stops that are in there, when you pull up those fuel stops, there's an option down here, not only for you to rate it, um, so you can tell us what you think about this particular stop. Um, it helps a lot of other people out. Uh, this was a Friday morning driver suggestion to be able to come here and see if a place was safe uh, somebody, someplace maybe if you're if you're newer or maybe if you're a female out on the road, you might not want to go to one that's kind of uh, not in a great part of town or something that you might not know. So you can check the safety of other drivers have given it a rating, things like that. So very helpful for everybody else. Um, and you can also, if you expand the hours, if one of you get to a wash, something like that, that's not open during those hours, you can suggest an edit and you can actually change those hours that everybody sees. You can go in there and change those times if they're not open on a Sunday or if they close at a certain time, you can actually put those in, that information in there and then it's available for everybody to see. So kind of do your part out there and help everybody else out, but you can kind of check those out. So those are some, some really great things that have uh, come about through suggestions from from our drivers out there on the road, things that they wanted, things that they thought would be useful. All right. I really like that feature. So I'm not sure if- What uh, else do you have? I think there's something else. We've already done this on Facebook, so we're trying to figure out what we've talked about and not. Um, if you have macros that you uh, think that need to be added to the app, please just let us know. Uh, we are working on getting number 13 and 14 added. Um, and somebody just suggested uh, adding number two. So we're going to get those added out there. Um, also, so if you're on the reefer side, sorry, I got to get to my pictures. Um, you'll see that this button shows up on your home screen now. Um, so only for people who are on the reefer side, you'll see this button, but that's more information about the holiday initiative. Um, that'll take you to the page where you can opt in and give you all the details on that. So that's out there. So if you're on the reefer side, you'll see that. If you're not on the reefer side, you won't see that on your home screen. So Tiny House Dreaming said, will there ever be comments allowed under the washout rating? I, I think I asked that too. Uh, no, because I don't want to, I don't want to have to police them. Um, so uh, I'm just going with star ratings to start with. This is kind of our first adventure into getting some crowdsource information. Uh, who knows better than the people who are out there visiting those locations, getting them. But we are going to start working on maybe doing the exact same thing for our customers' locations. 
So uh, trying to get just a little bit more feedback about some of the facilities and different things out there. So no, no words yet, but uh, maybe. <laughs> it would just, it would be really hard to manage all it those comments every day, right? So, so many drivers. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Trucker Doby said, how are drop yards selected? So I guess maybe will you show it one more time? Sure. Real quick. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's what he just meant. Sorry, I should have started there. But so you're in my prime. So in my prime, you either start with the fuel and services button, or come right over here. Um, there's a filter button right down here at the bottom. Um, and from here, you can come in here and you can select just drop yard. And then you'll be able to see by a terminal but you can kind of see what's out there um, if they're listed oh I have more than stuff sorry I have more turned on there but you can see if they're one of our terminals um, if they're in there you'll see the feature listed down there as a drop yard so you'll be able to check those out you can see those and only show the drop yards and you can get some information there Cool. And I know that somebody watching this after the fact may ask, is there a list? We get this all the time on Facebook. Is there a list of all the drop yards in one place? There is not. Uh, the only place that they are is right there under that check mark for showing the drop yards. Um, they do change. Some of them have different requirements. Some of them are based on availability. So uh, the only way that our fuel desk and some of the other places can go in there and turn them on and off was to be able to put them in the map. So that's where they go. So um, that's where you can always go and check those out. So if you're, if you're near a location or looking for one near you, turn on that drop yards uh, filter and you can see those. All right. Um, do we have to manually download the update? Uh, they should be auto updates. Um, if you have it turned on on your phone, if not, uh, you do go out there just here. Play Store, App Store, and uh, check for updates. 3.7 is our current version, so if you're looking out there, you can check that out in, I don't know what my menu looks like. Um, down at the bottom, you'll see uh, what your version is. 3.7.4 is what uh, okay. mine is. I think 3.7 is the current version. <laughs> I have a test version on my phone, so. Um, um, you can kind of see on the drop yard question, he said, sorry, I meant selected by Prime. I don't know what that means. Maybe reach out to Brian. I don't know if you can. Or the help desk. Provide us a little more information. Shoot me a message to Prime Mobile Help. Um, I'll gladly try to answer. Um, those are just the ones that have been set up by our sales and uh, security uh, departments as actual drop yards that we can use. Um, some of them, there might be more out there that sales use sometimes where they have to call customers and make certain arrangements and different things. We don't put those out there as, as just standard drop yards. So. Okay, um, we had another question. This was on the Facebook one too. What about um, permanent passengers on the truck, wives, spouses, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, so we'll, using the app on their behalf? Uh, we're, we're working on that. We were kind of hung up on some legal parts um, with being able to do some electronic signatures and some other things. And so now we've kind of made it a little further on that. So now uh, we're gonna work on doing some more electronic forms. So things like the annual review, uh, passenger permit, some of those things and kind of, um, moving those more digital and in that process we're going to work on some some passenger accounts so we're getting closer great um trucker mike said how about a way to update directions for customers um yeah well, we actually get asked that a lot because the directions do they just kind of add to the bottom of them if something changes things like that so um we don't really have a good way yet but that is i'm going to put it on my list Sorry, Trekker Mike. I don't have a good answer yet, but I will definitely add it to the list. Sweet. All right. Um, let's see. Any way a money plan could be created so we could use the Wi-Fi on... Oh, okay. Sorry. You put a dollar sign. Um, any way a plan could be created so they could use the Qualcomm Wi-Fi? So the Qualcomm doesn't really have Wi-Fi. Um, it can join an open Wi-Fi spot. That's the only thing. Um, they're, it's still cell phone based. Um, so uh, they really just don't have great data and that's not something that we can offer is to use that plan for other things. So that's a good question uh, that we get that a lot. Cell phone data plan is, is probably better than what you would get from the Qualcomm. The only thing they can do is join an open free Wi-Fi. So, uh, not really an option to use those. All right. Is there a way to change our log status while out on the truck? It is, there is not, you have to do those from the Qualcomm device. 
um, they just don't let us do that from the app. So that's not a, it's not a thing that we can do at this time. Okay. I think those are the questions right now. Do you have anything else that you are showing? I don't think so. I think that was um, the majority of it. Has another favorite feature that you use a lot that you want us to kind of showcase for other people who might not know. Um, trying to think of one. Oh, my contact. I know it's an oldie, but people still miss it. What all is under my contacts? Um, so my contacts. Oh, Dakota Wellborn said macro 28 allows you to send in correct direction from customers. Oh, it does. So maybe, maybe we can put macro 28 on the app. Sweet. Thanks, Dakota. Um, so if you go to my contacts, so this is a list of all of your contacts. So it's going to have your fleet manager. It's going to have your payroll person, um, your road assist person, your logs advisor. All of these people are going to be kind of right in here. Um, you can also see where they're located. So um, if you want to know where this person is, you can kind of see what building and what floor they're at. So you can kind of come introduce yourself if you've never met them before, kind of see. And you can kind of see that some of these people are, are usually grouped together. Um, so you can kind of... Uh, find them, introduce yourself, put a face to a name, uh, check those people out, but you can find out where they're located in here. You also have the other contacts. So anybody that's not specifically assigned to you, which can find safety, claims, permits, the fuel desk, um, HR benefits, uh, citations, all of these different ones, all the way down until you can even find the schedule for um, the shuttle. So you can even pull up the shuttle schedule here. So you can actually come in here and actually pull up the actual shuttle schedule, see what it's at, find which one goes where. Um, there's a lot of information out there. So um, my contacts is where you'll find all of that. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, I think that's it. All right, so let me switch this around. So if you have suggestions, if there's things that you'd like to see, if there's anything that we could help you with, um, please just let us know. A little shiny. I don't know um, what's going on with the lighting here. <laughs> Woo, we are bright. Future's uh, bright at Prime. So if you, if you have something you want to see, please just let us know. Send us a message to Prime Mobile Help. Um, we'll gladly help you with anything we can. If there's something you see that's just not right, something that would be helpful, please just let us know. Okay. Well, thanks, Brianne. Um, comment below. Even after this is done, we want you to comment below on this post. Tell us your favorite feature. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're trying to grow this thing so that way more people can learn about Prime. We get information out there to people that need it. So subscribe to our channel. Oh, now the questions come in. Okay, hold on just a second. Um, why can't the service failure be taking off once they expire? They do fall off. Um, we only, sh I think it's three months is what's shown out there. It might be longer, I'm not 100% sure, but they do fall off after a certain amount of time. Um, and if you don't agree with one of them, you need to call your fleet manager. So we get a lot of people who send those to us and they don't let me change those. <laughs> they give me no authority to fix those at all. So um, you need to start with your fleet manager and that's who they'll talk to. If you don't agree with one of them, if there's one out there that you don't know of, so talk to your fleet manager. I'm gonna get motion sick. Yeah, sorry, this lighting is not flattering. We got a yellow effect in here. Okay, um, Donald said, please add priming mind shots to info page. <laughs> that is a good question. Can we add the pictures of the people that they're trying to find? Um, we don't have a great way to do it because these updates, so if your road assist person's on vacation and they have somebody else covering, that will auto update in there. So we don't have a great way to make the pictures do that yet, but we can always look into it. At least like their fleet manager would be cool. Cause I know a lot of people are like, hey, do you know who this person is? And they're like nervous when they walk around. Like this, this up here, this is our, one of our fleet manager floors. And it all looks the same if you're new. So <laughs> suggestion, write that down. Okay. Well, we are gonna end this cause we are looking there awfully any, yellow. Is there any more? Um, I don't know. We're not YouTube experts, clearly. Nope. I think great update. Contacts are a big help. Prime rocks. Yep, we're good. All right, we've answered all the questions during the live. Like I said, if you have any more questions on the Prime Mobile app, comment below and I'll get those over to Brianne so she can answer them for us because um, I know nothing about technology. Very little, at least. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Thank have you. a Prime Bye. day. Nope, too cheesy. Okay, bye.